Today, we have a bike instead of a car. This is pretty sick. This is a pretty rare occurrence. It's not. I mean, it is. Actually, nowadays, in GTA Online, it is a pretty rare occurrence. This is the newest bike. It is clearly, because of the name, it's called a Nagasaki. It's a Kawasaki. Are they even trying anymore? That's a good question. I don't think so. Anyway, I've got into my bikes recently, as in the past few years. And uh, I'm, I'm actually interested to see what they do with customization stuff. We had the bikes DLC before. We've had a few bikes before in general. But, like, how, how good is this going to be? I think this update, we actually have a couple of bikes. We're going to find out how this one does customization-wise, though. You already know. That's how it is. Let's get into it. Let's customize this beautiful thing. It already looks super cool from the front. I would say the front is my favorite. It looks very... I'll, I was going to say the lights look quite Tora bike-ish, uh, but then the rear looks very old, very classic, if you will. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. All right, let's jump in then. We've got 70 customization options. We've got body work customization. This is just going to be the rear fairing. You know what? That looked kind of fire, but we might end... Should we just end up making it black, maybe? Carbon. We're going for the carbon. Then we got the brakes, which of course put on the brakes. Engine customization. Why did I just buy that? Why did I just buy that? Why? Don't do what I do, my friends. Anyway, let's have a look at the exhaust customization. So we can go for twin exhaust. That is super cool. I don't know why, but twin exhaust just always looks cooler to me. I don't know why. Even on a car, like dual tip. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, we got fairing again. It's got, has it got two fairing customizations? Oh, it says body work on the other one. I, you know, I don't know. Fine. I see how it is. Oh, full. we can go like full carbon with this bike. That is pretty spicy. I kind of want to go for that one. Just so we have a little bit of paint color. You already know. We got the mud guards. Mate, that looks weedy. It looks weedy now. What's going on? Carbon fiber. Yeah, we'll make it carbon fiber. It kind of hides it. it. Makes it look more aggressive. We got the fuel tank, which we can also... We're just changing them into to carbon fiber. You know, I'm kind of disappointed by this. I was... I was hoping for maybe some, like, parts that actually you put on. Not, like, just changing things to carbon. I'm really, really disappointed by the customization on this. It's not, it's not good. It's really not good so far. Transmission, turbo. Hey, turbo in a bike is pretty cool. I, it's pretty freaking cool. We've got wheel customization, and that's it. What? Nah, this is... This is not right, Rockstar. How can you do the bikes like this? We've been waiting so long. I feel, what customization can you do on a bike? Mate, you can do a lot. You could do a lot. Where's where's my, like, fins that I could put on? We got the exhaust customization, customization cool. Where's my, my rear tail tidy? Like, just even little bits like that would help make this thing look cooler. New lights, because I think those lights are really cruddy, like, really flat textured. Change it up. What if we added a different type of wind windshield? Like... Man! What if we could make it into, like, a crazy naked bike? You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Let's go on the wheel customization. Because it's been a while since I've actually looked at the, uh... The wheels on bikes. In fact, I don't know. remember the last time I actually looked at the wheels on bikes. But, uh... Let's have a look. So, we've got some... Mate, that makes the front tire so skinny. What the frick? We're probably just gonna go for something like this. The racer. The racer looks pretty cool. Can we actually change the rear... We can. Good. Ooh, I was a little bit worried there. I was like, oh, no, we're not going to be able to do it. Oh, you know what? I kind of like this one, the track star. We have mismatched wheels. and You can't even tell. You can't even tell. So they don't, don't even bother me. Ain't no problem. Ain't no damn problem, boy. We've got alloy color or black. We're going for the black. Tire customization. Do you want to put uh, custom tires on it? Sure. Oh, it's got atomic on that side. I was like, where the hell is it? It's only on one side. It's a motorbike. You show them both. We've gone for the red paint color. It looks pretty good. Now we're going to go through the liveries to show you them. The, the one I have had a look. This one, again, Kawasaki. It's literally... Mate, they even play. It's the damn same thing, okay? Anyway, going through them, you can see a lot of them are very race inspired. We've got Princess Robot Bubblegum, which I kind of, like, inside, kind of want to do. The inner weeb in me. Kind of wants a princess robot bubblegum. We got a hunting one. That looks sick. I like that. I like that. That's pretty scary. 
We should have some like blacked out version of it though, please, Rockstar. Ain't nobody gonna use this brown camo. Please. So as I said, I kind of like this one. This one is the best in my opinion. It's pretty clear. We can change this to Xenon, but white. I, I prefer white. Does anyone else prefer white lights? Like even the yellow. All right, maybe not the yellow, but like white lights. And just like that, we're kind of done with the customization. I, as I said, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed overall. If I'm total, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. It's, it's not fantastic news for the bike. I was hoping for like a big comeback with the bike, big comeback. We want big update, Midnight Club, Dub Edition, big old bikes doing wheelies, but this, this is, it, again, it looks good, but it could look better if I could put some bits on it. And I know the comments disagree, <laughs> but you're wrong. I make good looking stuff. Can we also talk about the fact that this bike costs a hell of a lot of money, okay? This bike, let me give it. Wait, can I get a. What's up, baby? Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> Let's jump onto Legendary Motorsport where this bike is purchased. 2.5 million. Yeah, you read that right. 2.5 million for this bike. I'm kind of I'm kind of shocked. I'm kind of taken back by this. It's it's I, I bought a Porsche last week for 1.8. We bought this for 2.8, 2.8, 1.7. How does a bike make these cars seem cheap? Because they're not. This car costs less. This car costs less. This is like the best car in the game. Don't even play. Don't even play. It is. The tune. I missed the tuner update, maybe, to be honest. The tuner update seems cheap now. What the frick is going on anyway? This thing better be good. Let's get some speed. Let's get some power and we're gonna test this thing out. You can't just build it and not test it. Why does this feel? I'm a be real. Why does this feel? Why does this feel slow? I think. I think my batty feels faster. That sound, I can't say that. <laughs> the bike, the batty. You know what I'm saying. I think that feels faster. I know there is a faster bike, but I use the Batsy because I like how it handles. This handles really, really, honestly handles freaking awesomely. Like, I feel like I don't even need to slow down to take these corners, which is for a bike should be illegal. Because quite frankly, that's death. If you, you're going to understeer into the build, you go and die. But this feels pretty good. I think... I think it feels better to drive than a lot of the other bikes in the game. Like, handling-wise, you can keep speed better. So maybe that's why it's not actually faster. Oh, at the same time, I've just thought about this, guys. I've just thought about this. Th <laughs> this update was supposed to come out at the launch of the next generation versions. Do you remember? So the original release date for GTA... I completely forgot we're getting that in two months' time. The original version of this update was meant to be out in March, along with the remastered version, but we got the uh, the, the San Andreas Vice City kind of triple bundle. Instead, they, they swapped the dates, supposedly, to when they delayed GTA 5 enhanced or whatever it is. So was this bike supposed to be, were all of these cars supposed to be faster? Because they said they were gonna do it for the tuner cars. If this was meant to come out at the same time, Maybe that's why. Maybe once we get the next version of the game, this thing's actually going to be faster. I also have not read the description. So maybe, what if it tells you that and I've just completely ignored that? Let's see. The latest from two-wheel powerhouse Nagasaki. The force. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Overactive wet sump lubrication system. The bike will be fine. Doesn't tell me nothing. Doesn't tell me nothing. So there we are. A bike that is... All right, it does the job. You're gonna get shot off it by many other things very quickly, but maybe it'll be faster when the update comes out. But I'm gonna say it feels right. It feels good. Like it drives good. And then someone's gonna do a video comparing the bikes and be like, "Oh yes, it's like the best fastest bike in the game." I think they don't feel it. I want more sense of speed. I need the screen shake. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. Thanks very much for watching, friends. I'll see you later on a stream. You should join me if, you, if you're watching this on time. I should be streaming. Smash the like, subscribe if you're not. See you next video. Until next time. Peace.